Now we. Now we're going nice and systematic, fairly systematically down. And uh, down, I see that stripe you see there is the railway line, and top railway line. And we're going to be crossing it a little bit later. But I love the section. What's up, everybody? Doing the power stream today. Every I must record almost right at the start here because there's, there's going to be several different kind of sections like from an indigenous forest then an open section tower where you've got this huge tower never been to that tower before let me see if this lens is clean with this was in I think it is and then different parts heading further higher where you're going to have an awesome view looking down on town which will include a section that I haven't done yet but I'm full of directions I know exactly where we need to go so let's go and have a look and see got a nice team with us this morning here and then, so. <laughs> This piece of forest is sharply up. Here's Colleen. Sharply up. Boy, this is awesome. Just waiting for the rest to arrive here. Yeah. It's different, it's shorter to get to the top elevation, but it's sharper. It's still early, so you're not going to see much, but we had one part where I wasn't 100% sure. Now I am feeling more confident. Yes, I definitely made the right decision. Definitely made the right decision. Because I remember when we went to go and camp on, when we did the Craddock Pass and we went and camped at the top. I insisted on taking the turn off down to the bottom and the rest came up here and it was a fatal decision. That's what you can do when you can do a uh, Craddock Pass as well there. We've reached the sign that I was telling them about. Craddock Peak, Craddock Pass, uh, Craddock everything here. If one goes down, we're going to be coming back uh, at a section from the bottom there. Um, there's, it splits. This trail splits into two sections at the bottom. And we'll be coming back with a stream one if all goes well. Uh, it's a bit overgrown with wattle trees. But that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Still worth it. Do something different. We have finally reached the tower and best of all, finally got a little bit of sunshine now at, this I must remember for future, it's nine o'clock now, so for one and a half hours now we haven't had any sun and now we've got some sun. Perfect timing, sun coming out as we reach the tower. I have got to ask, maybe one of the uh, hikers here will know exactly how high this tower is. I want to stand on that balcony. It would be so nice if somebody actually stood on that balcony and gave a good perspective of the size, the height of it. Probably gets used for all kinds of broadcasting. You can go around it now and then to the cross, which is on the side, a separate section altogether. So stay with us as we do it. And then some nice sections at the top there, at the mountain, and that side is it in focus here, all along in the centre part there, that we're going to still see. 
Now we're gonna be heading to the cross when we finally got some sun. I have yet to see, I have no idea, since this is from here on, it's all brand new to me, whether we're gonna be having any sun when we go into that section, that half moon section above the railway line at the top there, all along there. I don't, this time of the year, we could find ourselves back in shade for a long, long time, or we might have some sun. We'll see a little bit later. This might be the only sun of the day. Uh, let's have a look at town here. There you've got a nice little view of town if one zooms in a bit here. We've had that for a while now at least. Oh, here's a bag here. Yeah, this you know, I'm just, I, kn I knew it's gonna, I'm just so <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, I thought it's in video. Oh, why not record this too? Busy having breakfast here at a piece of breakfast. We might have a second little one. I don't know. <coughs> but this is here at the at the cross here. And then from this cross, here I've been more than once before, several times. And then if one goes left here, you start seeing where we came from, that high tower. And then stunning view of the town. We should be zoomed in a bit here. In fact, we are zoomed in already. And then we've got the town there. And we're going to be going up. This is what I was trying to explain earlier. If you want to go to George Peak, you've got an option you can do. Go oh, yeah. You've got a second option, which is the vertical. What they call the vertical. Shorter, but a lot steeper. But this is the one we're going to be taking today, which forms this half moon and takes us, takes us back to the top railway line again. This is going to be new to me. And this is why I wanted to do it, because we haven't done it before yet. I haven't put my uh, false teeth back on again, but I'll put them on there now. We've had some serious mud. Because of course I have no idea how muddy it's actually going to be uh, on this section that I've never done before. So here we do, as I was expecting at some point, get to a little stream. But if it's so muddy now, I don't even want to know how muddy it must have been two days ago. Three days ago it must have been seriously muddy. Watch this, I'm going to show you the sun. Yes, Stian. And then you've got this here, and then look at the trees. The sun there, and now we're going to go systematically up here again. Let me give you an idea. Look at the mud here. This is what I'm talking about. But then you do get sections that are not. You just walk another three meters, and you get sections like this that are perfectly doable but anyway that's great I'd rather have mud than seeing everything busy die from first year now we now we go nice and systematic fairly systematically down and uh, down I see that stripe you see there is the railway line top railway line and we're gonna be crossing it a little bit later but I love the section this is one part a special part that I was looking forward to since I had never done it and I thought it might be quite pretty and uh, it is no disappointment it is very pretty valleys and seeing town and it's not all, there's a little bit of up and a bit, a little bit of down, a little bit of everything on it.
back to the railway line sooner sooner than what I was expecting if one goes right here you can go and see the bats at Narnia or you can go straight across if one wants to do the which is what we probably gonna do the actual trail of the power stream this is its trail or one can go back via the railway line back to the main road uh, which takes you back again so let's wait for the people and have a little boat reaching the stream that we cross again man this is this is beautiful that is awesome we're busy with henry's yule I don't know who gave it that name but just listening to the name Henry is probably somebody who used to work hard or died climbing up here or, so, or climbing up the hill and uh, but I do know from walking this once that it does level out all of a sudden all of a sudden it does level out and then runs parallel to the stream it's working on everybody three people behind me three people ahead of me this goes pretty level evil level stevens with the water so you hear the water on the right hand side here for quite a while and uh, opens up if I remember correctly, it is so long ago, I've only done it once. And let's not forget your rock formations that you have on your left hand side here. And uh, then it starts opening up a bit and you suddenly get to see almost like the entire Otaniqua Pass again, I think. It's quite nice actually when it's been so long ago since I've done it that I don't quite remember exactly every single part. I just knew there's going to be rocks and I knew there's a, a little river which is bound to have a name but I don't know it's the, it's the, the power stream the power stream we're in a uh, indigenous forest spot which means the same indigenous section that we did earlier 
and now is a better time to try and show you the width of this. I would need somebody to stand here. Will you not get from your knee? Net die staan dat die mense perspektief kry van die of record my sommer hou net just to give you a perspective of the width of this tree here and then it's actually here in the center part it's hollow but it's growing it's as alive as can be you can sit inside this tree awesome it's like us, man. It's not You're probably not going to see, but there's a couple of couple of baboons. There was an entire troop of baboons, and they're relatively tame here, but they ended up going up here now. Pity, 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 pity. We are remarkably close to the end here now. Maybe there's still more of them. There was one on the other side here. Here's Colleen. Just make sure I don't get melting it yet. I'm sure she enjoyed it. We had what? One, two, three, four, five, seven people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven people today. So, thanks for joining. Something different. I haven't done this before. And I think it's awesome. Especially the parts that I haven't been at, like the, the tower. And then that other section above the uh, railway line. That was pretty awesome to do. So, thanks for joining. Still recording. Thanks for joining. Join us again next time. Um, I don't know what's going to be next. Well, uh, you know what's going to be at some stage. In two weeks from now, we're going to be doing um, Eagle Falls. And that you don't want to miss. That's going to be awesome with heading to a cave and checking the you're going along with the river basically with cliffs on both side we just haven't made our made up our mind yet for next weekend but the 16th the weekend after next weekend you definitely want to have a look by about sunday night and you should see a very nice video anyway if you watch this thanks for watching please subscribe and please leave comments see you next time Ach, das ist